Hi, my name is Amanda from Hair by Amanda Blast, and today I'm going to show you how to create a big low updo on our beautiful model Jacqueline. We are going to be creating this updo using clip hair, clip and extensions, and shade number four. Okay, to get started, we first apply our clip hair, clip and extensions to our model Jacqueline, starting at the base of the neck. Simply section that hair, clip the rest of the hair away so that you're only working with the section that you are clipping your clip-in extensions on first. You tease the hair at the base of the neck and then you grab that weft and use the clip that's already attached to it and attach it very snugly to the base of the head. You want all of these extensions to be very tightly fit onto the scalp so that they stay nice and secure. Whether you're wearing your hair down or in an updo, this is a very vital step to wearing extensions, making sure they are nice and snug in there. Once all of your extensions are applied to your model or to your own head, if you're doing this to yourself, you are going to go through and thoroughly curl every section of the hair. This is a step that you do not want to skip anytime that you perform an updo. It gives the texture to the hair so that you have something to work with. It's so much easier and it allows the updo to look so much more romantic. If any pieces are sticking out in any weird ways, they don't have straight ends, they're nice and soft. And now we're going on to my favorite secret for creating this low updo and that is mesh. Grab yourself some mesh, attach it to the very base of the neck, and then you start grabbing hair, twisting it towards that mesh, and attaching your bobby pin to the mesh. Now that you have mesh in an updo, you are not going to be attaching any of your bobby pins directly to the head. It is all going to be attached to the mesh. Another great tip when using mesh in an updo, if you are worried you're not going to have enough hair to cover all of that mesh, is to buy mesh that is the color of the hair and the extensions that you're going to be using. They do come in brown, it comes in blonde, it comes in kind of this reddish color if you're working with red hair. So I didn't have to worry about that too much because we're working with a lot of hair, but if that is a concern for you, you certainly want to take that into consideration because you never want any of that to be visible through the updo once it's complete. Now I take really big sections and pull them out really big before I attach the hair because I like that big bohemian effect on updos. If you want a little bit tighter of an effect, you can take smaller sections, you can twist tighter, you're not gonna pull it out as big, and you can even attach your bobby pins a little bit tighter. So for me, I'm all about big, it allows you to go through the updo a little bit quicker, um, and it just has that beautiful, soft, romantic look. So whenever you attach the mesh to the base of the head, this allows you to get that really, really full look way lower. The widest part of the head is up top. It's not at the neck. And so it's very hard to have anything to attach a bobby pin to whenever those updos are low. So that's why when you see those gorgeous pictures and you're wondering how is that not so heavy that it's weighing it down? How do they get it that big without it falling? Mesh is your answer. So this is a super great tip for any of these beautiful big updos. It works so well with extensions and you just continue working your way around the head until every single hair is pinned where you want it. Make sure you look from the side, from the front, from the back, finish it with hairspray and then twirl your model around from every direction so that you just make sure it is exactly how you want it and you have created your first big, messy, low, romantic updo and it is fit to wear many places.